Oh yeah, so it's a 1999 911, which is the uh, 3.4 liter uh, edition of the 996. It's the first two years they, or first three years they've had it. That was the engine in it. The previous owner did a lot that I have not done. Uh, it has Bilstein coilovers, lowering sport springs or shocks, whatever they are, the coil things. Pilot Super Sports, a little bit more grip. Uh, they're a little bit wider on the rears, uh, about two sizes wide on the rears. I have removed the rear seats, seat belts, all the linkage there. Uh, it has the sport seats from the factory, so they're a little bit lighter. Uh, it does not have PSM or the traction control, which was an option in '99. So it's really a, you know, it's in my opinion one of the last drivers, 911s at I think 2000 or 2001. All those electronics were standard and kind of forced on you. Still very fun cars, but uh, the three. 0.4 liter came from the factory with either a 296 or 298 horsepower. I forget exactly which one. I have aftermarket headers, uh, fab speed muffler bypass pipes, and uh, EVOMS cat bypass pipes. So it's uh, pretty much straight piped after the headers. It has factory aero, so it's the GT3 look. Uh, the chimps have been raised, so the, it provides a little bit more downforce at the end with the wing. That's, that's really about it. You know, it's a fun car. It's lightweight. I haven't scaled it, but probably 2750 to 2800 pounds okay. uh, without a driver in it. And, uh, you know, it's not the quickest thing out there, but I like the exhaust. It sounds louder than it is, but it's still kind of fun just to mess around with people and go through downtown like Ann Arbor and stuff and kind of make the hippies mad. <laughs> And that's it. Yeah, it's a fun car, and I'm enjoying it so far. And uh, what would you tell somebody who's looking to buy something similar? They're great cars, and you shouldn't hesitate. They're very reliable. They're pretty easy to work on if you're okay. I, I'm very bad with the wrench, if you will, but uh, I do my own oil changes and things like that. Uh, brakes are extremely easy to do on them, so rotors and pads, they're really easy on all, all Porsches that I've seen and, and have owned. It is the ugly one. It's the ugly duckling of all the generations, but the 964 once was as well, so maybe it will start appreciating in 10 years or so, uh, which isn't why I bought it, but you know, it's just a fun car, reliable. If you get the IMS uh, guard or replace the IMS bearing and the rear main seal, those are the two things that you have to worry about with 996s, along with 997s, which are the next generation 911 and the, uh, the first two generations of the Boxsters and Caymans. They all have the same kind of setup, if you will, with the IMS and the RMS. Uh, other than that, they're great cars.